Welcome to episode 262 of the Bear Trap on the Boomer Bus channel, a Bears podcast by a Bears fan. I'm your host, Terry. And today we're going to the film to look at um, Nick Foles and his incompleted passes against the Rams on Monday night. We only got 10 incompletions, which might be a little shocking to people, but we know the offense was ineffective overall. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get that started. Um, again, we only got 10. Let's go ahead and break this down and see what exactly happened. So, um, the second and 12, this is the first quarter. Starting out in empty. Rams send four. Pretty good pocket. Cordero Patterson what was incomplete. So, we'll look at the pass rush in a second. But just a double slant backside. I mean, wide open. The uh, linebackers uh, move more towards the trip side, leaving the middle of the field open. Looks like it was a drop, but we'll see. So, again, they send four. Fetty does a good job with AD. And that's just a drop. And I don't know, again, uh, to back up, I don't know if they're taught more spot routes, which is kind of like a slant, but instead of coming across, you settle over the middle, uh, usually done against zone. But you can see Cordell kind of like turns his hips and settles down instead of continuing to go over over the middle which puts him a step behind the ball, but still in a position where he could have caught it. And so um, I think it was a good throw by Foles, just a drop. All right, so we'll go to the next play, second and seven, still in the first quarter. Uh, we got trips to the right. That was a weird play. Um, the pass came out quick. I don't know if that was supposed oh, it wasn't supposed to be a mess, but looks like Graham comes here and then Harris backside comes there. Looks like Mooney was coming here over the middle. And so just one of our curl routes there, but goes to Harrison is contested. Trying to look at everything. The Rams send five. And not a bad decision. You see um, Harris had the leverage on the safety or the corner, whoever 22 is. But, yeah, we get five on five pass rush. The pocket's fine. And honestly, the ball's really well delivered. It was just a drop by Harris. So, so far, we've seen two drops. Second and nine. We're in the second quarter. So, the defense was on the field for a while. Um, play action. Good protection. And one of those shots that we miss, but... Honestly, the coverage was there. I mean, we, we do the play action, uh, play action split zone. It's a double move, and this isn't necessarily wide open. Like, you got to understand, this is how defenses design it. Obviously, he's got to step on the corner, but he's still got outside leverage. And so, since the corner has outside leverage, that's going to force Mooney to stay, funnel himself into the middle. So, even though he's got that step on him, he's funneling himself right into the safety. So, if you put the ball on the outside shoulder there, that's a tougher catch, and it gives the corner a chance to react and catch up. Since you can't do that, you try to put it in the inside shoulder, and that's right where the safety is. 
So obviously the safety was able to recover and make a play. But again, the play action split zone, which is fine. And I mean, just a tad off. Obviously, if you get it a little closer to where you can make that play, but again, just the way the defense had it, it was, uh, I mean, because he was already overthrown. So really your only other choice, like I said, is throw it to the outside shoulder. And if it's short, then the corner is going to catch up. So it's just a tough throw. Third and seven out of empty. Um, hold on. Let me back up. Yeah, this is the third quarter. <laughs> we jumped a while. I, I know he had a lot of completions as well. They just were short. Um, and then also we went on the field a lot. So, yeah, this was one everybody was talking about. Um, pressure gets in the face, has to throw the ball up. Uh, and so what's funny is everybody's like, oh, man, you just completely missed a wide open Mooney, uh, which he missed. But, A, there's the pressure. But, B, if you look at it, when he throws this ball, Mooney hasn't even broke yet. So it's not like, oh, he's just running wide open. You just missed him. He puts the ball up before Mooney even comes out of his break uh, because he knows he doesn't have that time. And he also know, well, he's having faith that he's going to uh, beat the corner on that. And he did. And that's Jalen Ramsey. So let's look at this, and I think uh, this is something I rarely do, but the live game pulled out a nice um, nugget because AD's here. They're sliding protection to AD. I wouldn't say, like, fully sliding protection, but your uncovered man in this situation, well, you got a couple, but your uncovered man at this point, you're – Still assuming for Fetty, you got eyes here. For Coward, you got eyes here and on the outside. So the uncovered man is white hair. White hair, when the ball snapped, he's putting his eyes towards um, Donald for the extra protection. And then they end up blitzing somebody on the backside. And so knowing that the protection, the extra help is going to be occupied with AD. They bring this blitz last second. Well, time and Leno does what he's supposed to do. Take most dangerous man. And that just leaves the outside open. I mean, it was a good play by the Rams and really a good play by Foles, even though it was incomplete. So fourth quarter now, uh, Third and short, obviously, going into the end zone. Money down. This is where we need a touch now. We do a little sprint out. And this was a good play by the defender. Um, unfortunately, the coach film doesn't show you the nice tight angle they had on the live feed. But it was 100% a good play by 31. He broke on the ball. And he literally put his hand in right before it could get to Anthony Miller's hands. It was just a great defensive play. I think um, the setup of the play uh, is, a, you know, staple in the NFL, bread and butter type thing. You sprint out. Um, you got backside protection. Uh, if he didn't have someone in his face, he probably would have leaked. Someone goes over the top. Someone goes to the sideline. That's an all-day red zone play. So I don't have any issue with that. Uh, it was just a good, you know, defense gets paid, too, as they say. All right, so it is first and 10 in the first quarter or fourth quarter, excuse me, down by 14. Snap is a little off. And just has to throw it away. Also, I apologize. That's my washer in the back <laughs> going nuts, if you can hear it. Um, so, again, 
we're empty. Let's look at what we did. So the flat there, so I figured the curls were coming. Curl. Looks like we got two deep routes. And there's a shot you could have took with Cordero, but obviously pressure in the face. Backed up against your end zone. Not a whole lot to go for. Looks like the Rams send three. Which is interesting. That backed up by that down by that many points. Surprised they didn't just send people after him. But yeah, I mean, just a good play by the defense. So second and ten. Five minutes left. Trips to the right. And that's a 50-50 ball. I mean, I can't get mad at that. You give your receiver a chance. You put it in a space where he could catch it. Um, it's going to be a it's going to be a contested catch either way. You got two defenders right there, and um, Anthony Miller just not able to come up with that pass. All right, first and 10, a little bit over two minutes left. And yeah, that's, that's, I mean, really for anybody, it's not good once you start moving in the pocket unless somebody's coming that way. Because most of the time you just take away your options, but out of that trips, I don't know what that's supposed to be. I guess a double in, kind of like a deep China where you got this corner route and you got two ends, but there's two digs instead. But either way, those routes were really close and they kind of got in each other's way. Then backside looks like you just had a single vert. Oh, no, you got an out route. Which is weird to run an out route when you got two digs coming that way. You would think you would just run a clear. But it, either way, they had it covered pretty well. And then we'll look at the pass rush as well. They sent four. I hate that jump pass rush move. I know it works sometimes, but I just hate it. And along developing play, the pocket wasn't horrible, but had to move. And then, yeah, all your options. First of all, he moved to the right, and there was nothing to the right except that corner route, and that was just too far. Uh, let's see. First and 10. A little less than two minutes left. Trips to the left. And they just take that shot. Doesn't work out. Looks like the same play. Not the exact same play. Inverted, but yeah, just that uh, post over the middle. Trying to hit that seam route. Safety does a good job staying over the top. Uh, these linebackers or nickels or whatever they are do a good job underneath. Really nowhere to go there. I mean, you had enough time to put the ball in the air. It's just, it's covered. I mean, the offensive line picked up that switch really well. It was good coverage by the Rams. All right, fourth and 21. So many incompletions at the end. They max protect, send three routes. Now, that one is on Foles. I can't tell which receiver that is. But they get open late. Now, Foles is getting hit, by the way. But, yes, the pass is off. So, let's see the pass rush. 
And again, they max protect. They they leave six in to protect. <laughs> they only rush four. Oh, sorry. Bowles did not get hit. He was just, it looked like he got hit because it was so tight. But no, Foles was not hit. He missed that pass. Didn't have an arm to get it down there. I think that was Wims. All right, so that is Nick Foles and completions. Um, and honestly, kind of shocked. Um, it was not as bad on the pressure as I thought it was. Um, obviously, you had that one blitz and everything, but um, number of drops, um, some good coverage by the defense. They were able to lock up what we had, and that was really it. I mean, it was only one really bad pass, which was that last one, and that was a desperation throw. But um, some will argue that, hey, well, if you got a Trubisky, then when it's all covered, they can make something happen again. Please show me where he's done that consistently. But yes, in theory, that's true. So anyway, go to the comment section. Let me know what you think. Share around. Get the conversation started. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And remember, stay up and bear down.